Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Tonight we will test drive the brand new Dacia Spring Extreme. This is the facelift, the latest version that comes on the market and tonight I want to give you some uh, information about the car and also drive to see the ambient in the nighttime and how it feels to drive. From my point of view this Dacia Spring, I think it's one of the best electric city car in terms of uh, price offer that you can get on the market today and you can see that the facelift come with a new graphic right there on the digital cockpit it's really nice it's much nicer than the previous version also it comes with a new graphic on the multimedia system even though it's kind of the same it has slightly a different graphic it has manual climatic system down here you can see also the ambient light it looks pretty nice and i like the fact that the ambient light behind the buttons here and here and also here on the climatic system and even down there have a nice light so it doesn't bother you too much on the on the ice in the nighttime when you drive let's drive the car and then you can see the ambient i'm not going to go too much into the details uh, up here you have also a normal bulb light I have a separate video where i show you all the lights in the nighttime so you can see their exterior lights interior lights so you can make a better idea with better quality this is the low bin and this is the high bin so you can make an idea low bin no LED light for low bin, no LED light for high bin, but I think they are relatively fine for driving most of the time in the city because from my point of view it's a car that you drive most of the time in the city. I think it's more than fine. Now we are in drive mode and we can drive it like that and if you want to go in reverse I want to show you also the reverse camera. So you can see in the night time that the reverse camera it's pretty powerful. I like that quite much you can see there I mean the the light it's quite bright it looks quite fine so you can see pretty well also in the dark time now let's drive it I will put the map here so you can see right now the map it's in uh, night mode and it's quite nice I mean the brightness it's really good and even the cockpit it's quite quite nice in terms of light so it doesn't bother you too much on the ice but in the same time you have a pretty good uh, view right there also of course I have separate videos on my channel test drive where I talk about the driving feeling also consumption test range test uh, the full review with the same car if you want to see interior exterior technical data and all that stuff I will try to give you a few information but there in the other videos you will find out much more information because in this video it's more about driving and see the ambient in the nighttime but this version this is the extreme version uh, that means it comes with 65 horsepower 113 newton meters the top speed 125 km per hour 0 to 113.7 seconds and the range 220 km estimated VLTP right now we have like 70 uh, 46 percent battery we can also reset the consumption so we will see what kind of consumption we can get outside it's one degrees i think it's almost zero degrees because i see some uh water that's frozen on the ground a little bit earlier so probably around zero degrees it's quite cold for a, for an electric car not the best best condition right now i drive today i think all day i drive the car and I'm so happy with the results. I mean, I think it's it's a great, great car. I'm super surprised with the suspension. Right now the car come um, with winter tires. It has the winter tires. They already changed the tires for winter and they are so soft and nice over the bump. It feels really comfortable. I'm not sure if it's from tires or the car it's set up so good over the bumps but it's impressively good. I don't remember the previous version anyway, the previous version I drive it in Switzerland where the streets are really good and I'm, I don't remember exactly but now that I drive here in Romania where the streets are not that good I noticed that suspensions are pretty good over the bumps for what this car it is I'm crazy impressed with what they did with this car so right now 
we can turn around here and I will go back but the lights even though they are halogen lights I think they are fine we will go on the street where it's much more darker so we can make a better idea about the lights change the lanes visibility around the windows visibility in the mirror it's perfect so nothing nothing to to complain it's also pretty silent that speed up to 100 km per hour it's relatively fine in terms of sound insulation the price of the car 22,450 euro and if you buy it with some tax incentives I think you can get this car at a super good price and I don't know if this car have a better rival competition I should say I don't know maybe Fiat 500e but Fiat 500e it's it's much more expensive car and I think it has like five, six thousand more than this one. And from my point of view, it's an incredible B car and also a perfect city car. So if you need a, a city car, if you drive most of the time in the city, I think this might be the perfect car for you uh, because it's, it's economical. Um, it's also cheap to run and cheap to maintain the service it's also very low the insurance it's very very low in comparison with other cars so let me give you an example if you have a tesla model y and you want to have a full casco with everything insurance all the pack you will pay around 1600 1700 euro per year and if you have this Dacia Spring and you want to have a full casco on it, you will pay around six, seven thousand, uh, yeah, six, seven hundred um, euro. So the difference is like almost more than double, you know. So it's much more affordable, and you don't have to stress too much with the car. It's it's driving super super good. So for city driving, it has a lot of space. I will show you in the full review video how much space you have in the back, and you will see how how practical the car it is, and it's also actually pretty comfortable. Over the bumps, I'm super impressed. I just take a big hole right there. Here are plenty of holes, so you can see. I'm, I was super impressed today when I saw how good this car it is over the bumps. It's just phenomenal good. I'm not just saying, it's, you have to go and test drive it and see the car because maybe you will be uh, surprised pleasant surprise you will have a pleasant surprise I like it I, I think the more I drive this car today the more I like it when I I was a little bit skeptical in the beginning when I take the car today in the morning but after I drive more and more and more and understand the car a little bit more and more I, I start to like it more and I think will be a, a very nice car uh, to drive in the city it's more than perfect you don't need more than that it's small it's agile now in the night time i can see also the lights are pretty good i will go on the left side we will go also on the street where it's a little bit darker so we can see the lights even better so we can make a better idea it's agile it's fast and it's also economical and today I don't I don't want to really spoil that consumption video that I did and range test but I have to tell you this was the most economical electric car that I ever driven like a test drive I get such a good consumption you have to see that video with the consumption test I was super impressed with how efficient it is it's much more efficient than a Tesla
and probably one of the most efficient electric car on the market oh my god here it's kind of dirty on the street I don't wanna I don't wanna make the car dirty but here it's completely dark so you can make an idea about the lights so now it's the low beam and this is the high beam oh it's nice look at this you have really good view even though the light it's a little bit yellowish a little bit not too much um, it's normal but the, the view is quite good look at look at the view it's quite nice you have really really good view wow I like it and even down you have a good view even there I think I start to like more yellow light I don't know why it's much more pleasant in the night time the yellow light than the the light from LEDs I think they are better for the eyes the yellow for the eye the yellow light anyway um, I think you make an idea already we don't have to drive more than that so to understand how the car is performing yeah again over the bumps uh, it's okay yeah over those big bumps like that speed bumps they are really big you feel a little bit stiffer but over normal bumps on the streets it feels fabulous good and it's also so small so agile you can drive it and park it so easy in small spaces just like that you just go here and just rotate this in reverse and then you just reverse and park right here just like that and you can see how bright the reverse camera is super simple super nice put it in neutral electronic handbrake and that's it let me show you the consumption 11.6 kilowatt hour was the consumption we beat the estimated consumption from Dacia and with the climatic system on actually the heating it's on right now wow I'm impressed I'm in such a good con consumption 11.6 wow I can't believe that this is this is quite quite interesting anyway guys that was the video that was the test drive in the night time i hope was useful i hope you get some useful information from here if you want to see the full review if you want to see the test drive if you want to see the consumption test and range test check out on the channel those videos probably are already on the channel if they are not stay close or just click the subscribe button to see the notification when those videos will come out i really love the car i'm crazy impressed with the performance and look at this it's one degrees outside i mean it's crazy it's almost frozen it's really really cold and the consumption it's still pretty good and also with winter tires so Great job, great job, Dacia, Renault. I love it. Anyway, stay safe. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thank you a lot for watching my videos. See you soon in the next one. <laughs> Bye, guys.